I was right. I should have known. Oh, I do worry that this guy's gonna die. You gotta learn how to read people better, ma'am. Oh my god. Some welcome dinner. Oh, is the wedding still happening? Oh no. Tongues? Oh, I don't wanna see it. No. Don't. I, I, I'm, I'm saying it. She don't deserve the crown. She don't. She don't deserve it. Oh, that was great. <laughs> how the fuck is he still alive? It's been near six years since I last saw my Lord Husband, Maester. What? I must know. Will he live? Oh, six years? In the fighting, his neck was slashed by Corsa's dagger. He fell overboard into the sea. Oh, is she ruling drif Driftwood? Ship's Maester said he burns from within. Oh, he's dying, Corliss? Oh, poor Renice. Is that Corliss's brother? I feel bad for this family, man. And who will take the Driftwood throne? My grandmother seems quite comfortable here. She provides ah. only in the absence of her husband. Are you trying to get the throne? I am the sea snake's own blood. Listen. The closest kin he has left. Renice didn't even want to leave it to you either. <laughs> she wanted to leave it to her granddaughter. But it's not a king who sits the iron throne these days, good sister. It's a queen. Oh, Alicent? Is Allison r ruling as Viserys? Is well, it's been six years. Which queen is it? It would have to be Allison, right? Because other yeah, Rhaenyra would support her son ruling over Driftmark. So I guess Viserys is clinging to life, but like barely. Can he just die already? I feel like this gets messier the longer he lives. He means to call into question Luke's legitimacy. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna keep happening, honey. Rhaenys has flames a cord. Surely she cannot be planning to back here. No. No. Whatever disagreements we may have had, she's not cruel. Disagreements? She believes we had her son killed so that we might marry. Yes. Oh. Yeah, if I was Renice, I would hate Damon and Rhaenyra. I would totally be sus of them, assuming they killed my son. It's really a shame we can't let Rhaenice in on the secret that her son is alive and just really doesn't want to be a part of this world. Because I think Renice would maybe understand and she would just want to see her son sometimes, you know? Corliss wouldn't. Corliss would not. But Renice might, because she's a mama. Let's, oh, we just barging into dad's room? What's going on in here? Why does it look like it's smoking? It's covered in cobwebs, though, so he's not been taking care of it. Oh, God, I don't even want to see him. Is he just at death's door? Father? Is he even going to remember you? Oh, God, he's going to look awful. I'm scared. Oh, Damon can't even stand to enter. Somebody just put an end to his misery. He lost an eye. When did he lose an eye? Is it the disease? He just lost an eye? I mean, I'm, so, I'm shocked again that he's still alive. The sea snake has taken a grave wound in battle in the Stepstones. Oh, wow. We're starting right off with business. There is a, there is a petition to decide upon this. He can't even look at his brother. Look at him. He can't look at his brother. He can't. It, it's actually hurting him to see his brother like this, I think. Who is that? Your baby. Oh. Father, this is Egon. Oh, wow, really? We're doing that? And this is for Sarah's. Oh. Wow, she, they already had two kids and she's pregnant again? That's crazy. Is she crying? Why is she crying? Oh. Oh, because of the incident in her son's chambers? Yeah, what happened? What happened? What happened? Did something happen to her? Did something happen between her and her son? It's Diana. You're crazy. Diana. Oh, God, please don't be mean. I'm so scared for this girl. I'm so scared for her, please. When I turned, I didn't see him. I asked him to stop. You're crazy. Oh, oh, he attacked her. Oh, honey, uh, Diana, Diana, you can't tell people this. I'm so sorry, but you live in a time where you have to bottle this up and you only go home and tell your mom. You don't tell the queen because the queen is just gonna cut your tongue out so you don't tell anyone. <laughs> I don't know, I'm scared. I'm scared for her. Thank you for telling me, Diana. Oh, no. I know it wasn't your fault. <laughs> I believe you. Oh, God. Yeah, she does, but... Uh, something's gonna happen. But what I worry about... Uh-oh. ...is what others might believe. Oh, she's gonna say this. To silence her? They might think you were trying to besmirch the prince, or worse. They won't, because your son is a scoundrel, but this is really sad. But honestly, this is the nicest tactic she could take with this girl. This is the better tactic. It's still mean and horrible. She's gaslighting her. It's awful. But 
The other tactic is cutting out her tongue or killing her. Oh God, please don't kill her. I know you won't. Please don't kill her. I'm so scared. Or would we be just scaring her into silence? It's awful either way. This is the more merciful tactic. Is this the tea? Feel troubles. Oh no, money. Oh, we're paying her. And we're making her leave the castle. Is she being fired? The tea. Oh, the tea too. The tea and the money. Lovely. She's so good at doing this right now, Allison. Like she's so, she's got this perfected, this whole speech and method that I fear her son has done this multiple times. I'm sure it's not the first time. There's only so much she can do. She's got to protect her son, but it's messed up. You know, if this was my son, I'd be like, I'm, I'm calling the cops on you right now, F you, but. How can you keep carrying on like this, especially on a day like today? Why, what is it today? Yeah, poor Alicent. She really be fighting for her family and her son is such an imbecile. Like, you just shouldn't fight for him to be king. Like, I'm sorry. He's, a, he's an idiot. No one would question me being heir to Driftmark. Yeah. If I look more like Sir Lainor of Alarion and Sir Harwin Strong. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter what they think. Yeah, Jace was just as insecure about this when he was his younger brother's age, but it seems he's come to, you know, accept it. Oh, is this, this is Aegon, isn't it? Or Aemon, whatever. I forget which one is which. This is the younger brother. Yeah, with the eye patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's him. Because he's the only one that would be like a badass. His older brother is such a moron. Oh, and that's Sir Kristen Cole. Wow, well, he's become a really good fighter. We went in Tony's in no time. I don't give a shit about Tawny's. Nephews? Oh, hi. Have you come to train? What a f creep. He's a badass, but he scares me. He's like a psych- Ugh. You told me it was our duty to hold the realm united against a common foe. Mm-hmm. By naming me heir, you divided the realm. Right. He did f up. If you wish me to bear it, then defend me and my children. He's too old and he can't do it. He's like dying right now in front of you. I do feel so bad for her, you know? He really did like so much up by naming her heir. My Lord Hand. Mm-hmm. Look at Otto sitting on the throne looking comfortable. Psh. The true unimpeachable blood of House Valarian runs through my veins. As it does in my sons, the offspring of Lenor Valarian. If you cared so much about your house's blood, Sir Baymond, you would not be so bold as to supplant its rightful heir. Now you only speak for yourself and for your own ambition. You'll have a chance to make your own petition, Princess Rhaenyra. Oh God, Aegon over there smirking like a little Dude, this is like the first time you've been sober in probably months. Princess Rhaenyra, you may now speak for your son, Lucerys Valarian. It's a pointless exercise, really. If I am to grace this fast with some answer. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That nearly 20 years ago in this very is, is Viserys here? He's walking! He's walking here! Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Wow. Oh my God, he's doing it. He really, he really heard what Rhaenyra was saying even when he was all drugged up last night. He really heard her. And he, yeah. Oh yeah, this isn't what you planned, huh? This isn't what you planned. Now you're looking worried. Oh look, he's wearing a mask to make himself look a little better. That's nice, that's a good touch. Good job, dude. I am proud of it. Can somebody help him though? Rhaenyra, could you maybe come? I mean, I guess he probably doesn't want help. He wants to do it on his own, but still. Damn, he's doing it. Is he gonna be able to get up the stairs? Oh, he really did do that for her. That's sweet. Oh God, can somebody help him get up there? Yeah, please, thank you. Oh, fine. Really? Okay, all right. He wants to do it himself. I feel like this is gonna kill him. Oh God, the crown is falling off though. I said I'm fine. Is it Day? Oh, it's Damon. Yeah. Oh, this is really sad, you know? Like this poor guy just probably does not want to be the king anymore. He just wants to die in peace. I know this is semi self-serving, but I'm choosing to believe that Damon is doing this because he can't stand seeing his brother this way. And that's really sweet. You know, even though they had a horrible strained relationship, like he was away from his brother for six years. And in that time, Viserys really looks so much worse than he did, you know, in the last episode. The only one present who might offer keener insight into Lord Corliss's wishes 
is the Princess Rhaenys. Yep, let her speak. Indeed, Your Grace. I wonder what she's gonna say. Like, I really do wonder what she's gonna say. Pass it to Bela? It was ever my husband's will that Driftmark pass through Selenor to his true-born son, Lucerys Valarian. Wow. His mind never changed. Wow. As a matter of fact, the Princess Rhaenyra has just informed me of her desire to marry her sons, Jason and Luke, to Lord Corlys' granddaughters, Bela and Rhaenor. They're like, oh, thanks, Mom. We're just hearing about this now. <laughs> I heartily agree. She heartily agrees. She heartily agrees. Honestly, I think Bela and Jace are a decent match just because Jace was, you know, they bonded as friends years ago. And the next Lord of the Tides. <laughs> oh, he's going to die now. He's going to die now, isn't he? Oh, maybe not. You break law. No, he's not. Okay. He's fine. I just, I heard the wheeze. I got nervous. <laughs> I feel like he's going to die any second. Don't you dare tell me who deserves to inherit the name Valarian. I do feel bad for Vaymond, but the, oh God. I will not allow it. Oh, Vaymond, you're stepping out of line. You're stepping out of line. This is the king. I know you're pissed and you have a right that to be pissed. Is no true Valarian. You may run your house as you see fit but you will not decide the future of mine. That's kind of what the king does. On the account of this. Don't say it. Say it. Oh! <laughs> Damon's like, say it, say it. Oh, Viserys, oh, Viserys really can't handle this. Okay, just say it. You want to, look at you. Our children. Oh. Our bastards! I really do feel bad for her sons. And she is. Oh. Well, Vaymond, it's over for you. It's over for you. I will have your tongue for that. Ah! Ha! 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 He can keep his tongue. Oh, that did it. That really did it. That really did it. Wow. I'm really proud of Viserys for doing that. Oh, is it the king? Here he is. Oh, we're carrying him on a, in on a chair. That's probably a good idea. It'll take less time. <laughs> oh, look at you, the betrothed. <laughs> We're gonna sit next to each other now. Oh, he's taking the mask off. Interesting. Oh, are we gonna see his missing eye? What's going on with his head? Ew. Oh, God. My own face is no longer a handsome one. <laughs> <laughs> at least he can make jokes. If indeed it ever was. It was better than this! This is like, you're you're a corpse! You're a walking corpse! Is she gonna leave the table? Oh, no, she's gonna make a toast. I wish to raise my cup to Her Grace the Queen. Oh? I love my father, but I must admit that no one has stood more loyally by his side than his good wife. Wow, look at her. She's really trying right now. Your graciousness moves me deeply, princess. Ugh, this is so sad. They've become such, like, strangers from one another, you know? We have more in common than we sometimes are. Yeah, you used to be friends. I raise my cup to you and to your house. This is so sad because like, I feel like this is gonna happen and this is, I think they do mean it, but I think that tensions are gonna just spark right back up again, you know? Like there's no way it's over, you know? I wish it was, I want a happy ending, but you know, we just can't have that. <laughs> Otherwise there'd be no story. Uh-oh, what's he about to do? Oh no. I regret the disappointment you're soon to suffer. Jace, keep it together, Jace, please. You ever wish to know what it is to oh, be well God. satisfied? All you have to do is ask. Jace. Yeah, simmer down, Jace, just simmer down. Yeah, this is where like the tensions really lie. Like Allison and Rhaenyra have more invested in apologizing to each other because they once were friends, but these cousins, like they don't like each other at all. So there's, there's nothing there. And as men, I hope we may yet be friends and allies. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Good health, dear uncles. Did you see, did you see Bela's face there? She was like, she, she was like this. She was like this. She instantly went from smiling to like, F you bitch. Like, <laughs> she threw such shade there. I loved it. Yeah, it's going to be over the second he leaves, I think. He's the only thing keeping the peace. He's, he's literally, wow, that's so poetic. Him being carried out the same time that the big... Ham is being carried in and they're being carried out the same way. Isn't that interesting? I like the way they executed that. 
Oh, the pig. Oh God, the pig joke. Oh no, oh no. Uh oh no, oh no, uh oh. Final tribute. Oh no. To the health of my nephews. Uh oh, uh oh. I think he wants to kill you guys, to be honest. Each of them handsome, wise. Don't do it, dude. Strong. Amen. Come. The way he paused. Strong boys. I dare you to say that again. Why? It was only a compliment. Do you not think yourself strong? <laughs> this is so sad. Rhaenyra. Oh, please, please talk to her. Please don't storm out, Rhaenyra. It's best, I think, if we go back to Dragonstone. You've only just arrived. Oh, look, there. Yeah, don't leave. Don't leave. Please, like, this is the first time you guys have talked to each other, like, nice. Let me see the children home. I'll, um, return on Dragonback. Oh, I, I just feel like you're gonna leave and then come back and it's gonna be, Otto's gonna get in her mind again and make her hate you again and then it's gonna be petty again. There's just no way for them to make peace between the two of them because their kids have nothing invested in liking each other or being nice to each other. They don't have, like, a good established relationship, so. <gasps> this woman? Is he still seeing her? Holy I didn't know he was still seeing her. Interesting. It's been quite a night at the castle, Sims. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> that was such a twist. What the twist, what the twist? Because Damon's always in a cloak and hood. So that made you think it was Damon. I liked that, that threw me off. I guess she just is getting news of what's going on there. Aegon. Our son. Oh God, don't do this. Don't do this, Viserys. His dream. Oh. The Song of Ice. Oh. And fun. Oh, that dream. It is true. What he saw in the north. Yeah, it is true. The prince. Prince Edmund. Do you make the realm against the cold and the dark? Oh no. Oh no. It is you. What? What? You are that one. What? No, she's not. You must do this. Just ignore him. He's being, oh my God. Well, I guess, I guess he kind of does mean it in the sense that like, she needs to unite Rhaenyra and all their children together. Maybe that's what he means. In that sense, he's right, but. I'm scared. It's so quiet. He's dying, isn't he? He's dead. Yeah, he just died. I love Finally. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just feel like he's been alive for so long. It's crazy. I've never seen anyone live so long in this world. Oh, this is the woman that sent, oh, this boy is a messenger and this is the woman who went and sent news to the woman. I don't know what to call her. I forget her name, Misa. I don't remember. Who knows? I have made Italia. Some of the servants. Who knows what? That, that the king's dead? Are we talking about that? We had to have known that was gonna happen soon. I saw him last night. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Are you really shocked? He had to die someday. Oh God. Oh no. That was the interpretation. My God. It is the truth. Uttered with his own lips. Oh no. Yeah, you know, I don't really know if that's what he meant. I thought he kind of meant like, he was talking about the old Egon's vision. And this is the problem when you rename people over and over again, the same f names. I, I thought it was about like the old Egon and him and then him saying that you're the prince that was promised because you need to hold them all together. Like that's what we need. But maybe he did mean I want Egon to be king. I don't, he was really vague and unspecific. And now this is gonna cause more tension and drama. And I will not believe that he said this on his deathbed alone with only the the boy's mother is a witness. I feel bad because I think she really did interpret it that way, but what he said was really confusing. Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord? Oh, now we're threatening that? Oh, dude. I care not. I will have no Sit part down! Of Sir Kristen, what the f Throw down your sword and remove your cloak, Sir Yeah, get the f*** out of here, Sir Kristen. I am your Lord Commander, Sir Kristen. Yeah, this is f***ed up. I will not suffer insults to her grace the Queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Kristen. Yeah, there was no, there was no insult. I, I appreciate your loyalty, bro, but you being crazy. Like, crazy, crazy. You just murdered somebody for no f***ing reason. Pose on me. Look at Rhaenyra. 
Yeah. The former heir cannot, of course, be allowed to remain free and draw support to her claim. Wow. Wow. She will never bend the knee. Wow. Nor will Damon, which you know. Yeah, no, Damon won't. <laughs> I wouldn't have Aegon. Are you kidding me? Your father is correct, Your Grace. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes. Unsavory, f you, Otto. Yeah, the Lord Commander hates this. Look at him. He hates this. The king wouldn't wish for any of the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah. One more word, and I'll have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. Ooh. Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. Oh. Oh, this is awful. Yeah, he, look at him. He's done. He won't do it. Yeah, good for him. I recognize no authority but the king's. Yeah. And until there is one. Yeah. I have no place here. Yeah, I respect him. He's a good guy. <sighs> Where's the prince? Yeah, where is the prince? Believe he may have left the keep secretly. Gone into the city. Take no one else but your brother. None can know who you are or what you seek. Including the queen. Including the queen. Like, the, yeah, Otto is, Otto's just very... Bring him to me and me alone, Sir Eric. How funny would it be if Egon gets killed? Although not funny at all, because then it would just be like, oh, Viserys has claimed the throne now. I trust again to you, Sir Kristen, and to your loyalty. Uh-huh. Egon must be found and he must be brought to me. It's gonna bring him to Otto. Cole needs me, mother. Sir Eric isn't the only one who knows Egon's doings. Honestly, yeah. Aemond is so, you know, creepy and stuff, but like, he's such a badass and he really like, he's he's the more respectable brother even though I think he wants to murder everyone. And like, he, you can tell he like cares about being respectable for his mother more than Aegon does. I wonder who's gonna find him first. I worry it's gonna be these two and then he's gonna get brought to Otto. <laughs> Making children fight each other? What's happening? Prince Egon spends many a night in this place. I hate the noise. Really? He does? You see now what he is. Yeah, he's awful. He's a, he's horrible, man. Is he here? F oh no, that's just a little baby. Egon. One of many I'd wager. Awful. F awful. Dude, Jace, I know Jace isn't really like a, he's a, I know Jace is a bastard, but he'd make a way better king. A moment of your time, my lords. Oh yeah, yeah. You'll find no buyers for your words here. No, 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 she, she, listen to her. She got something to say. I think he will wish to hear what the White Worm can tell him. Oh, the White Worm is, what's her name, huh? Misa? I don't know if that's her name. The, the woman that Damien used to hang out with? I bet that's the White Worm. And then my duty, my Lord Hand. You've spent many hours with the Queen of late. There's no reason those hours could not in the end benefit you. Man, I... Everybody that Alicent surrounds herself with are awful. I really hate everybody that surrounds her. I don't hate her. I think she's really conflicted and she was a good wife, but man, I hate her dad. I hate Lord Laris. Even Kristen Cole gets on my nerves. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <gasps> Believe it or no, it is of no consequence. I came here to ask your support. We're near as heirs are none of yours. It is your husband who grasps so heedlessly for the throne. And even he has abandoned you. Rhaenys is doing a great job keeping her, her cool. I'd be f A true queen counts the cost to her people. And yet you toil still in service to men. You desire not to be free, but to make a window in the wall of your prison. Have you never imagined yourself on the Iron Throne? Damn. Any scene with Renice, I get so excited. I love her. Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. Me too. I like that this is her ultimatum. I look into it. You have my word. Like, don't just look into it, end it. When your blood's ripen and you install your grandson on the front. Remember, it was me who put him there. I will remember. What kind of remember? Like, are we gonna kill her? <laughs> After we get Aegon? Cause Otto is savage. Oh, look at the way he just approached like that. 
I do regret this, friend. Look at this, Alicent and Otto working against each other, pitting these men against each other for their own goals. It's unfortunate. I, I don't want Eric or his brother to get hurt. I wouldn't mind Kristen Cole getting hurt, but I also want Aegon to make it to Alicent, so maybe Eamon can just whisk him away. What's Eamon gonna do? Oh, look at his brother just looking on. He's abandoning his brother. Let me go! I have no wish to rule! Yeah, yeah. So sad, he doesn't even wanna be king. Eamon would be a better king, but he'd be ruthless like he'd be scary he'd just kill anyone who got in his way so I, I you know Eamon would be like Robert Baratheon but more drunk and more debaucherous no king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many though I understand your squeamishness reluctance to murder is not a weakness I agree see I like her I just hate everybody that surrounds her <laughs> we'll proceed now as I see fit yeah tell him to off. You're nothing but a hand, Otto, and your king is dead, so you probably won't be the hand for very long. Your grace. <sighs> Can anyone just leave her alone, ever? <laughs> the hour is late. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, girl. There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. The spies, yeah. Along its threads travels news of all our doings. Your father knows this but has left it in place. It must be taken out at the head. The white worm. When the queen dies, the bees fly without purpose. Oh, you like the bee metaphors as a bee, you're a bee man, huh? Cause you're family. I assume this task falls within your expertise. Mm-hmm. If you wish it, it will be done. It's interesting cause he was just talking to Otto like we, I could help you, you know, but now he's over here helping the queen. Eric? Is he fleeing? Is he saving her? With me, princess. I cannot let this treachery stand. Yes. yes. Oh my God, is Eric gonna be okay? Oh God, please let Renice survive. I'm happy to see all these people who know what's happening is really wrong. Oh, are we building the White Worm's home? It's one of Laris's guys, huh? Oh, it's a new crown for him. I guess they make a new crown every time, huh? Oh, look, he looks so miserable. Have the decency to look grateful. He doesn't want to be the king. Do you know what's been done to give you this day? That's so funny. That's like what typical mom thing to say. Do you know what? I slaved over this dinner for you. With his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. I just think you misinterpreted it, honey. I really do. I think you misinterpreted it because that's not what I understood him to be saying. I think he was kind of vague, unfortunately. Maybe if he did mean that, you still should have just taken it as the ramblings of a man high on milk of the poppy and like let Rhaenyra take the throne. You're also just putting your son in more danger. If you love your sons, like, I mean, you could argue that Rhaenyra would have her sons killed when she ascends the throne, but I don't think she would. It's like so sad because it just feels so fake and like a farce, you know? It just feels like a, a lie. And he doesn't want to be king. Is, is Renice gonna slip out? I want her to go get her dragon and leave. Yeah, sneak out, sneak out. And light his way to wisdom. And all of this is just being done behind Rhaenyra's back. It's so awful. I know that it makes sense logically. It just, I hate it. I hate this shady Oh, we're letting him place it? Cause, oh, is that what the Lord Commander gets to do? Ugh, I hate him. <laughs> Sarah's took the slightest bow, just like, oh. or sorry, I keep I keep calling him the wrong name. It's Eamon. Gah. It's just sad. Is that where the dragons are kept? Well, that's unfortunate. We're killing a lot of people, Renees. I appreciate the dramatic entrance, but we're killing a lot of innocent people right now and that I'm not about. I like that it's so smoky and we can't really see what's going on, you know? There she is. Is she gonna go out dramatically like this? Is she gonna die like this? Open the doors! Yeah, let the people out. Why are you trying to lock them in there? Why are they closing the doors? <laughs> yeah, she hasn't said the D word. She's letting him go. Damn. I respect Rainy so much. She's like, I will not leave Melise. I will not leave my baby. I wouldn't either. If you told me like I would risk dying 
saving my dog, saving Coda, or like leave him behind forever. And like, he might die alone, but like, I'll get out. Like, no, I'm not leaving my baby. I'm not doing that. I also like the fact that she didn't burn them alive when she really just could have there. She could have just burned them all. I'm not like you. In what way, sweet boy? I'm not so perfect. <laughs> It's really sweet that you think your mother is perfect. I guess we all kind of think our parents are like great when we're, I mean, not all of us, like some of us have horrible family lives, but I feel like you kind of look up to your parents when you're young and you think they're perfect and then you grow up and you're like, oh, they're not perfect. <laughs> Good morrow, princess. Good morrow, Sir Laurent. Oh. Princess Renice has just arrived on Dragonback. She got news, real news. Like a little badass in her suit of armor. Might we hope for news of Lord Corliss's recovery? Viserys is dead. She's like, let's just skip the formality. Aegon has been crowned as his successor. Yeah, that's gonna be a stab in the heart. Oh, oh, her baby felt that. That whore of a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne. He didn't, she didn't murder your brother. I mean, listen, your brother was like at death's door. Do we really think Alicent murdered him? Like you saw him. <laughs> Oh, and now, she, of course, she's gonna have, have issues with the baby that she's pregnant with. She's got something going on. Is she giving birth right now? Yep. <gasps> oh no, something else is going on. Baby's coming. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful time to have to give birth. This poor woman, she had so many kids. Her term is far from complete. This should not be happening. Uh-oh. Oh, I feel so bad for her. What a stressful thing to be going through. Conscript the dragon keepers. They're capable fighters. Waste no time. It will be done, my prince. Wow, hearing Rhaenyra's moaning in the background is like a really, I like that choice. Just makes everything feel so unsettling and high stakes and sad. <laughs> Why is she having a dream about a dragon while she's giving birth? What is happening? Is she giving birth to a dragon or something? Like what the fuck is happening? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't look. This baby's killing her. I can't, I can't, this scene is so graphic. Oh my God. We're, we can't show this on YouTube. Yeah, we can't show any of this. Uh. She's, she's a badass for dealing with that herself. I'm not gonna lie. She's not even crying. She's really strong, I will admit. Is Damon gonna leave? Oh no, is, is he mourning? It's sad that he can't like be vulnerable and be here to help her and hold her. You know, he's not that kind of guy. What's happening? I mean no oh. harm, brothers. Oh, Eric! Oh, she, <gasps> he brought Viserys' crown. How did he get that? I swear to ward the queen. Aw, I like Eric, he's an honorable man. Here's the thing, whether or not you think Rhaenyra should be the queen, like I don't necessarily know if I think she'd be the best queen, but what Alicent did was wrong. Even if she believes in her heart of hearts that Viserys was naming Aegon heir, she had to have known that that was gonna be a dumb decision and start a war and put her children at risk. And you could make the argument that like she, maybe if you believe that Rhaenyra is a bad person that her children would be at risk if Rhaenyra was ruling. But still, I just, I don't know. I just think it was stupid. I think what Rhaenys, oh, what's Rhaenys gonna do? Yeah, cause she just, is she gonna bend the knee? I don't know. Maybe not. She wants to be independent. <laughs> I really wonder how this episode is gonna end. Cause some of the episodes progress really fast. Events happen really fast. I feel like this one is progressing more at a normal pace that I would expect, which I like. Who is that? It's not Otto, is it? I come at the behest of the Dowager Queen Alice. He did not! Again, these two meeting on the bridge. Where is the princess? There she is, again, on the dragon, as she likes to come hang out with him on the bridge. We're just repeating this years later. This is great. Man, could you imagine how different the world would have been if Damon had killed Otto? Acknowledge Aegon as king and swear obeisance before the Iron Throne. In exchange, his grace will confirm your possession of Dragonstone. Lucerys will be confirmed as the legitimate heir to Driftmark and all the lands and holdings of House Valarian, your sons by Prince Damon will also be given places of high honor at court. This is a very tempting offer. This is a really tempting offer. Grand Maester. What? Is this a note from Allison? What is this from? Oh, the page from the book she, oh wow, this is a manipulation tactic. Lovely. King's Landing will have my answer on the morrow. 
Yeah, Rhaenyra does have a soft heart, which I do think is a good thing to not immediately want to start a war. It, like, let's sleep on it. It's probably a good idea to sleep on it. It sucks because for a matter of pride and what is right, she should be the queen. But like, do you want to risk so many people's lives? Like, I don't know, it's tough. It's a really tough decision. When dragons flew to war, everything burned. Everything burns, yeah. Everything burns. King's Landing burns. Having dragons is kind of like countries today having nukes, you know? You're like, we have them, but do we want to use them? <laughs> no. To defend the realm, not cast it headlong into war. Well, the enemy have declared war. What are you going to do about it? Clear the room. Oh, yeah, they got to have a fight. It's time to have a fight. Because Damon wants to be, Damon's hot-headed. He wants to go into war right now, and he wants to be in charge, you know? Is Rhaenys not clearing the room? Or is she just leaving slowly? Yeah, she's leaving slowly. <laughs> Her little face. <laughs> I think she enjoys watching Damon be taken down a peg. A song of ice and fire. Yeah. What? He doesn't believe it. Sarah shared it with me when he named to me. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy f Damon. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you almost murdered the queen. Yeah, oh God, yeah. He never told you. No, he never told him. Oh, Coralus. Oh, my God. What a survivor. I really do love these two. You have the full support of our fleet and house. Damn. Your grace. That's as far as he can bow. His neck is hurting a little bit. You honor me, Lord Corliss. Oh yeah, she wasn't sure. She didn't really expect it. She's just, yeah, that's really great. Princess Rhaenys. Yeah, that means a lot to her. The consequence of my near demise uh -huh. in the Stepstones is that we now control them. Yeah. I took care to fully garrison the territory this time. Wow. Look at that bomb drop. The narrow sea is ours. We can cut off all seaborne travel and trade to King's Landing. Damn! Damn! We have goosebumps! What a bomb drop from them! We can surround King's Landing, lay siege to the Red Keep, and force the Greens surrender. Without dragons. We must first secure the support of Winterfell, the Eyrie, and Storm's End. Dragons can fly faster than ravens. True. She doesn't want to let her sons go, though. Prince is right, your grace. Can Luke convince anybody he's like a baby? Very well. I feel like they're gonna take one look at her sons and be like, what the f you look nothing like your mom. <laughs> Maybe it'll be okay though. Prince Lucerys will fly south to Storm's End and treat with Lord Boros Baratheon. I, I really am scared. She's putting her sons at risk, but uh, you know, I really respect Jaceris for stepping up and saying that like he should go. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing, but what if, what if they get hurt? I expect you will receive a very warm welcome. I'm nervous that he won't. I'm just nervous. Like, what if one of these places has sworn to Aegon already? Ugh. We're not going to find that out till next season, though, I think. Yeah, what is Damon up to? Is this where his, dra yeah, this is where his dragon is? Or have, is this where he's been housing some of the eggs? Like, did a new dragon hatch and he didn't tell people about it? I'm confused. Yeah, that's not, that's a new dragon. That's a different dragon. The thing is, you don't want to become, oh, he's a big boy. He doesn't want to be the rider to two dragons though, right? Because then what do you, what do you do? Wait a minute, what the heck? Oh, I guess I, co I completely forgot what the Baratheon territory looked like, to be honest. I'm a little nervous for, oh wow, I really didn't think we'd see these scenes in this season. I'm nervous. If her sons get killed, Rhaenyra will go to war immediately. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Is that Aegon's dragon? Oh God, that's so unsettling, yo. Oh, Luke. Yep. Here he is, Aemon, hi. Did I say Aegon? Uh, God, their names confuse me, man. There just has to be a thunderstorm going on at the same time. What are the odds that Aemon is just here, chilling, ready, like in this hall for Luke? If he showed up yesterday, like what were the what are the odds? This is so crazy. If I do as your mother bids, 
Which one of my daughters will you wed? I'm already betrothed. So you come with empty hands. Wet off your youngest brother. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh oh, God. My Lord Strong. Uh oh, Lord Strong, Jesus Christ. I want you to put out your eye. Oh, lovely. It's payment for mine. Of course you do. You have a cool glass eye though now. Or I will take it, bastard. Not in my hall. Yeah, amen. I'll not have blood shed beneath my roof. Yeah, he's gonna go outside then. Oh, he is bloodthirsty, man. Yeah, Prince Aemon is creepy. Oh my God, Luke, run. Please run. Oh God, Luke, go! Where's Vagar? He, the, oh God, they're gonna hunt him. Oh God, Luke's gonna die. Luke's gonna die. Oh no, oh no, poor Luke. And he's so cute and little. He's coming, he's coming, it's silent. It's so scary. Oh, I think his dragon's gonna die too. <gasps> Vagar's huge, man. You know what's really fed up? Amond got the biggest dragon for that eye, and yet he can't let it go. He's such a psychopath. I'm. It's so fed up. Like you got the biggest dragon, you won. I just don't know if Luke is a direct. Oh yeah, go through the little crack. Yeah, go through the little crack. Good idea. Oh God, is he gonna get away? Please get away. Please get away, Luke. You owe a debt? No, he doesn't! He you, he doesn't owe a debt because you got a dragon, you little Oh, no. Arax, why did you do that? Oh, are they, oh, are their dragons fighting against each other? Because they're pissed. Did he get out of it? Are we okay? I think we're okay. No, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're not okay. Yeah, you just killed him. You just killed. I really hate seeing dragons die, man. Yeah, you just killed him. You just killed him. Yeah, you psycho. Yeah, you didn't mean to do that, did you, you little God damn it. You know, I called him a little when he was like 12 and I felt bad about it, but now he's a full grown man and I'm gonna call him a little You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, asshole. What the did you think was gonna happen? Ugh. Oh, well, she's gonna go to war now. Amond, you just started a war. You just started a f***ing war. Oh no, he knows. Oh, he knows. Oh, I don't wanna cry. Oh. She's gonna start a war now. Now she doesn't care about holding the realm together. And I get that Amond like, was just trying to scare the shit out of Luke and didn't necessarily, you know, maybe wanted to poke an eye out but didn't want to kill him. But so f***ing stupid, man. And I don't blame Rhaenyra for if she starts a war after this. I would do, man. I'd want Eamon's head on a spike. All in all, this series hasn't seen that much bloodshed so far in comparison to a show like Game of Thrones where we saw a lot of bloodshed earlier on, I feel like, than in this season. But it kind of makes sense because Viserys was a very kind and understanding ruler, almost to a fault, you know, because he was very forgiving of Damon time and time again. And he also would kind of have a lot of doubt plague him, which I think caused issues between Rhaenyra and Alicent. So I think he was a very flawed ruler, but he, you know, didn't like war and was very conservative and cautious in that sense. I think now in this next season, we're probably going to see a lot more bloodshed just given the fact that Rhaenyra has vengeance now on her mind. You know, for a while she was acting cautiously, trying to do what her father would have wanted. But now that we've lost her son, I think things are gonna get a lot messier now that a war is gonna start. So, and I guess that is what happened in Game of Thrones. After the first season, there was a lot more bloodshed because a war started, but I just feel like with a lot of the mistakes that characters have been making in this season, you'd kind of expect it to be even more gruesome just because I feel like a lot of the characters have been making really dumb decisions or decisions made out of pride, I should say. Like, especially the high towers, Otto high towers, just completely acting out of pride, being a horrible hand, um, only caring about securing succession for his grandson at all cost, which you, I, I see his perspective in the sense that he was worried that his daughter and grandchildren would be at risk if Rhaenyra was to rule. However, I don't think that that would have been the 
case, but I can see why one would think that. So in a way, I see where all these characters are coming from, but I think war could have so easily been avoided and they all just made the perfect wrong decisions to lead to a devastating and bloody war. I will say, I think in the this last episode, I, Rhaenyra grew on me a bit more just with how cautious she was being when it came to the decision to go to battle. I think she was carrying herself really gracefully and even setting really firm boundaries with Damon and really establishing that she's in charge. Although <laughs> then in private, Damon physically threatened her. So I was kind of concerned there that maybe she'd be losing control. But she, even then in that moment, realized that it was because Damon was upset because he didn't know what Rhaenyra was talking about with the Song of Ice and Fire because Viserys never told him. And that was just a sore spot for him. So I do think she's gotten a lot wiser as she's gotten older. And I even said this um, in the episode when her and Damon got married. I think she was making some smart decisions there that also demonstrated how caring she actually is in terms of how she protected her husband, Lenor by giving him an opportunity to go live a happy life, but also setting her up for success in marrying Damon and making a more powerful couple to rule the Seven Kingdoms. It's funny though, because so many people do think she's like this ruthless, conniving, will do whatever it takes to get what she wants kind of person. The Hightower seem to think that. Rhaenys and Corlys even seem to think that because, you know, they're under suspicions that she had their son killed. But she's really like actually a lot more compassionate, I think. And she I think she has been trying, especially in recent episodes, to be a good ruler. I do think she's going to be a lot more ruthless in season two. I think she's going to completely forget about the Song of Ice and Fire and what her father wanted her to do and keeping the realm together. And she's just going to let vengeance take over. And I think that that has to happen, right? Like this whole series has to lead up to the death of the Mad King and the end of Targaryen rule. Even if we don't get to that point in this series, that's what we're building towards ultimately in the grand picture. It's kind of like when you're watching, you know, the Star Wars prequel, it's the trilogy leading up to like Darth Vader. So you know, it's not going to have a happy ending. This series can't have a happy ending unless we just end it early, I guess, before, I don't really know what the plans are with this series as to where we're going to end it in the timeline. I feel like if I look anything up, I'm going to get spoilers. It's tough because technically, like, if you've read these books and you're familiar with everything that happens in the lore, then nothing is probably a spoiler. But for me, I'm not super familiar with things. So I'm going to stay clear of looking too much up about it. But I don't know exactly where it's leaving off. And I'm sure they've probably said where it's going to, but I'm just going to avoid looking that up for now. I do think there are a lot of characters who frustrate me and there are a lot of characters whom I love. Like I really enjoy characters like Corliss and Rhaenys. You know, Corliss, his flaw was his pride and his ambition for the history books, but he's learned that that's his flaw. And he even, you know, had a moment of growth, like we're going to go retire and live our happy lives. We're not going to declare for anyone. And Rhaenys is wise enough to know, hey, we can't do that. <laughs> Our granddaughters are betrothed to Rhaenyra's sons, so we literally can't do that. <laughs> so I really love characters like Rhaenys so much because she's just so wise and she really understands the world in which she lives. She doesn't just speak for the sake of speaking. She holds her tongue and waits for the right moment um, to make decisions and say what she needs to say. She's very powerful and strong and even with her suspicions that Rhaenyra killed her son Lanor, she understands that Rhaenyra is a better option for her, for her family to rule the Iron Throne than Aegon. So, and also just, you know, out of respect for her cousin's wishes. So I do, I do love Rhaenys. And uh, there are a lot of characters that I like who are flawed, like Damon. I think he's incredibly flawed. I think he's very hot headed and sensitive but he doesn't like to let on the fact that he's sensitive. And I think this gets him into trouble. He doesn't like to show any emotional vulnerability. He likes to go to battle at the drop of a hat. But I do think he's a really compelling character to watch. I just can't wait for certain characters to get what's coming to them. I, I swear to God, if we get to the end of this entire series and Otto Hightower is still alive, I'm going to be so disappointed. I hate him. I really hate him. I think he's so smug. He was a horrible hand. He was a jerk. And I think he just likes to act like a little puppet master. And even if he does do it because he does care about his daughter and wants his daughter to be set up for success, I, I still don't like it. <laughs>
I think he is manipulative to his daughter, whether or not he tries to be. And I just think he's a horrible, annoying dude. I think the cast of characters is really interesting though. Even if there are characters that I don't like, I still like waiting to see what they'll do next. Game of Thrones definitely taught me that. Um, when I started Game of Thrones, there were a lot of characters that I hated that grew on me over time. Like, you know, it, your feelings on characters will kind of go back and forth between loving and hating, depending on the decisions that they're making and whether or not you think those are honorable decisions or smart decisions. You know, when we started off this series, I, I liked Kristen Cole. I thought he was cute and sweet. And then very quickly, I just thought he became a petty little <laughs> so, um, Amond even drives me crazy. I think, I, I think he's reckless and creepy and vengeful for something that he really doesn't deserve to be vengeful for. Uh, he was gonna kill Jace if Luke didn't stab his eye out. And he also got the biggest dragon out of that deal. So I, I characters like him frustrate me. However, I think he's really interesting and powerful and so he's fun to watch and I also liked seeing him at the end of this episode with that realization dawning on him like oh crap I did not mean to kill Luke and I'm interested in seeing how he treads in front of Alicent after this because I think he knows he just started a war and I don't think he meant to do that so I'll be interested to see if he gets taken down a peg because there were characters in the beginning of Game of Thrones like Jamie Lannister whom I hated and by the end, Jamie Lannister redeems himself and for the most part. I mean, he goes back on it because, you know, the writing is at the end of Game of Thrones. But <laughs> closer to the end, he does redeem himself and um, become a much more likable and empathetic character. I kind of want to see that from characters like Aemon. I think that would be really interesting. Also, this is just another thought that I had. It's um, not super related to everything, but I don't think I had mentioned this. I think a thing that frustrates me is when characters are really hypocritical. However, that is very true to reality because people are hypocrites all the time. I've done things in my life that are hypocritical. That's just human nature. We all say things but do the opposite sometimes. Politicians do it every day. People are just hypocritical in nature, but I did think that it was interesting in the beginning or towards the beginning of this series when Allison is, you know, disappointed in Rhaenyra from the news that she heard about her and Daemon in the brothel. And she's saying, you know, you Targaryens do have strange customs, but she's like disgusted by it. It's so interesting that later she's marrying her two children together. Allison, that's way grosser than what Daemon and Rhaenyra were doing. Way grosser. So yeah, I, that thought did occur to me one day when I was not um, recording. And I just wanted to mention that again, like how hypocritical of Allison to say something like that. Shameful, shameful woman. It's it's tough because I do like Allison for the most part. And I do empathize with her to a certain extent. I do think she took things too far and held on to resentment for way too long. I, I, I don't agree with the methods that she took throughout most of the series. But I think Renice really hit the nail on the head with her when she said, you know, you spend your whole life in service of men. Have you never thought what it would be like to sit on the Iron Throne? Like if you serviced yourself, you know? I think that really does show her character well. She really lives her life in service of people like her father or Viserys or now Aegon. And I think it feels like it's almost at her own demise. She's now begun the process of starting a war. Her son has now officially started the war. Like all of this could have just been avoided. <laughs> There's a lot of pride and ego involved with a lot of these characters. And it makes them really interesting to watch because that is a human flaw and trait that exists in people all the time. And it does lead to a lot of wars throughout real life history. So I like seeing it play out on screen. And I'm really interested to see how these characters develop and how I feel about them by the end of this show. That was kind of a rambly outro, just my thoughts mostly on the characters. Obviously things like, you know, the makeup and costumes and lighting have been great. The production value of this series is awesome. I was a little nervous because in the, in the beginning of the series, I think in terms of, I don't know if this was in the writing or the directing, but there were a lot of pauses in the dialogue and it felt very slow moving. I think as we've gotten closer to the end of this season, things have started to ramp up a little bit with the stakes being raised and getting more intense. Dialogue has seemed to pick up the pace a little bit. Things have started to move a bit faster and there seems to be less 
air between lines and dialogue. So I think that problem has kind of resolved itself, but I did feel like it was a little slow moving in the beginning. So I'm excited to see that it's kind of picked up a bit of a pace towards the end. And I think this was a really, I hate to say fun cliffhanger, um, given that, you know, this cute character died, but I think it was a fun cliffhanger. I mean, I also like the fact that, you know, Amond let Vagar get out of control and that's what started this accident happening. And I also like the fact that, you know, earlier on in the season, he loses an eye and it really causes him to be driven by vengeance and anger towards Luke. And that is ultimately the inciting incident for how this whole season ends and the beginning of a war. I mean, that's, we've seen things like that play out in history with famous figures being killed and it's starting an entire revolution or a war. So uh, I really liked that coming back around and being the final climactic moment of the season. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm just excited to get into the next season when it is available. When? Let's see when it's going to be available. Filming will begin in early 2023. No, yeah, it's still too early to set a premiere date. We may not see a season two until 2024. That's so sad. So they haven't even started filming it yet. I guess to be fair, when it's a first season of something like this, they probably didn't even know if it was going to be able to keep going. They wanted to make sure it would be successful. So that's fair. But oh, that's sad. I, I, oh, I want to watch it already, but it's not even filmed. I was hoping they were at least starting production soon. But um, I mean, early 2023 will come soon enough, but we'll, we'll definitely have a little while before season two is available. But there are a lot of other fun shows and movies that we have time to watch now. So that is exciting as well. There's never a lack of content to dive into over here. So I am excited to watch some other stuff in the meantime. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more House of Dragon with you when it is available in the future. <laughs> of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.